At this time, I call upon Mr. David Paul. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, good morning. It was very rough on me last night to leave City Council, but I had a prior commitment and I attended a wonderful lecture given by Captain Anderson at the Sheriff's Department on ethics. I'd like to talk a little bit about that tonight to this morning. Uh, I asked him in the lecture when we were talking about the relaxed standards of the Sheriff's Department if the admitted drug use of Barack Obama would disqualify him from employment in the Sheriff's Department. And that's uh, and a whole another issue, but I want you to know that last year at this time I started to get ahead of this medical marijuana issue and to great risk to myself and my reputation I sought out Miss Victoria Zavala who I didn't know at all and tried to get a handle on what this problem is understanding many of the issues that go along with it and she responded in kind by giving me complete and total access to her operation. She has the highest standards of ethics and tries to abide within the law. And because of that, she has patients that trust her and are also trying to abide by the law. And this is what I'd like you all to understand. In the law of unintended consequences, what you're going to find, what I found, the names on her rolls of patients include the spouses of city staff, the sons and daughters of sheriff's deputies, people that work at the hospital, people that work in the school, people that go to church, elected board commissioners from this valley. So when you are going to make them fingerprint themselves, and put their names on rolls, that's gonna put these people that are trying to do it right further down into the system. And you also need to consider the ethics of these people that are looked upon with as less than ethical beings. And they hold these secrets. And if you crush these people, you know, they're going to out people and, and it's just, it's crazy. We, we, I, I saw um, Vice Mayor Ron Smith promoting the artist's loft downtown, and we want the avant-garde. And that's all true. I like it. See, but I grew up in the 60s in the park across from my house. We had the beatniks. These were the predecessors to the hippies. And they'd sit out there and play their bongo drums, and there was that strange smell. That's what artists do. So you, you can't have this heavy-handed policy of, of suppression and you know, because you're going to have the smells lofting up from the artist's loft over there, or you're going to drive those people away. And that's what I'm saying. Let's have some common sense and reason. Allow me to participate in this process as I've been trying to do. Thank you. <laughs> 